Thank you, Chairman, sir, for giving me this opportunity to participate in the debate on Finance Bill 2022-23. Without any further delay, I am moving the pertinent issue that I would wish to raise. Sir, I am speaking exclusively for the marginalized people. I am not going to all other details, but I am particularly specific issues for relating to scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and other backward communities. As in the case any budget or state and sectoral allocation may, the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes are the most affected and least allocated. Sir, in the Union Budget 2020-23, the allocation of scheduled caste stands uh, rupees 1,42,342.36 crores and 89,265.12 crore for the scheduled tribes. 329 schemes for SC and 336 schemes for ST have been allocated for the welfare of scheduled caste and allocation for welfare of scheduled tribes respectively. While the allocation appears large, appears large and generous, the proportion of targeted schemes is 37.79% within rupees 537,900 uh, 37, crore allocated for target scheme under SC budget within 43.8 percent with the uh, uh, rupees 39.113 crores for STs. This is the disparity of this marginalized people, sir. Sir, honorable uh, chairman, sir, you are very much aware of that. The marginalized people should look at should try. What is their living condition? Uh, inflation is going every day. And also, essential commodity is uh, inflation, price hike is also going uh, in a drastic level. And also, sir, the employment opportunity also decreasing. Who is the ultimate victim of this country? The government policies and also government, uh, uh, div uh, various government policies. Who is the victim of this country, sir? We are not realizing. Uh, ultimately, the victims are scheduled caste and scheduled uh, uh, and other vulnerable people. Sir, the rest of the schemes under Dalit and Adivasi budget are de facto general schemes. With the mask of SC, S, uh, our ST budget scheme, they do not qualify as SCST schemes that will be benefit communities. Considering the general nature of the schemes, this will not address the development gap between SC and ST, rest of the population as mandated by the guideline. The government has been voicing the need of the development of the Dalit and Adivasi community. However, the same is not ref reflected in the budget finance year 2022-23, sir. Sir, let me explain the same, SC and ST wise. Budget for scheduled caste and, uh, for scheduled tribe 2022-23 in uh, rupees uh, crore. Total expenditure bus budget uh, estimate 22-23 is SC for 4 uh, lakh 4361 uh, uh, 4, crores, ST 4 lakh uh, 443, uh, uh, 4 lakh 444.361 crore as per total expenditure through budget and resource of public enterprises as per statement expenditure profile financial year 2022-23. Total eligible central sector scheme and centrally sponsored scheme for CSTs, 1,230.836 uh, crores and STs, 1,226.482 crores, uh, crores. Due to allocation for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, as per the new guideline of DDIO, is rupees 182.9. One lakh eighty two thousand nine hundred seventy six crores for SC and ninety eight lakh six hundred sixty four crores for STs. Allocation for SC schemes as per statement ten A and ST scheme as per statement ten B 
is rupees 1,42,340 crores SC and 89.265 crores ST. Therefore, the total gap in allocation is rupees 129.18 crores for SCs and uh, rupees 50 lakhs uh, 0.77 crores for SCs. This has always been the case of the last seven years. Not only this year, not only last year, last seven years, despite giving the high figures, there has been no actual and sincere allocation in any successive budget. Apart from the budgetary budget discrimination, the government is extending its humiliating stance on rejecting uh, the Dalits in every walk of life. Sir, available data shows there is a total number of atrocities on Dalit women about 7,000 crimes, with uh, about 10 Dalit women raped and every average daily. Sir, however, the budget allocation in this year only 600 crores for the effective implementation of SCST POA, P SCST PO POA Act, out of which about 180 crores to address violence and crimes against Dalit women. Sir, the trans Dalit community do not find mention in the budget, and this is totally invisibilized without having any allocation. Sir, the discrimination of allocation for post-metric scholarship, very important, sir. Sir, the post-metric scholarship in this country for SCST is very important. Yes. The commitment to allocate uh, 7,000 crores for post-metric uh, scholarship has not been fulfilled this year, too. This year, there is an allocation for only 500, so 566 crores for SCS and 1,965 crores for STs. So it is abundantly clear that yes. the government is doing whitewash of allocation that any actual concern spending of the country's most challenged and discriminated section of the society. Sir, this is the yes, all sir. over the scenario of the scheduled cash and scheduled tribes in this country, sir. So nobody is listening to scheduled cash and scheduled tribes. Uh, problem. Their living condition is not addressing. Their employment is every day decreasing. But government of India is not addressing these uh, marginalized people. That's why I'm, yes. I, uh, I'm fully uh, mentioning the. Sir, I'm concluding, sir. Sir, in my state, uh, also you are also very much aware. I would like to request Honorable Finance Minister uh, regarding the K Rail project in Kerala, which is a a highly objectionable project from Kerala. Large scale agitation is going on. So I would like to request Honorable Finance Minister that Kerala's economic crisis is going to be far worse and serious than Peninsula and Sri Lanka, as mindless data taking without any investment or creating employment avenues for its vast number of unemployed youth inviting foreign direct investment. The present rate of the present rate of debt in Kerala reaching 3.27 lakh crores and debt constitutes 37.3% of the GSDP and debt, debt to rate of revenue ratio 2020-21 and 2019-20 at 380 and 290 respectively. The debit to state's own revenue ratio for 2020-21 and 2019-20 and 3 at 362 and 490 indicates that Kerala is a bad debit category. During 2019-20, Kerala spent 75.6% of the borrowed money for revenue expenditure, which means that yes. the state is not in a position to please conclude. Uh, state is not in a position to service the debit or take any other loan any soon. In this financial crisis, the government of Kerala is pushing ahead of Silver Line project that is based on the fake and manipulated DPR, making the total cost of 63,000 crores. This figure has been exposed by several experts, including Metro Man Sridharan, who stated that even Nidhi Ayog also yes. mentioned that security wall, uh, this 
uh, cost will be going up to 125,000 crores. So I would like to request uh, Honorable Chairman through you, sir, Honorable Finance Ministry, kindly see this uh, Kerala government uh, silver line DPR and not allowed to any financial sanction for yes. this project. If you are going, giving the financial sanction for this project, see. the entire Kerala will be totally Tool demolished. So therefore, I would like to request to, uh, the government through you, sir, Honorable Finance Minister also, this project, Silver Line project, uh, okay. to uh, not given any financial sanction. This is what my humble request. Honorable okay. Finance Thank Minister you. is also here. She is very much aware of that. We are also 19 MPs. Kerala MP signed a memorandum well, to you, sir. To ma'am. Ma'am, one second, ma'am. Silver Line. Ma'am, 19 MPs from Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha signed a memorandum and submit to you, ma'am. You are very much aware of the Silver Line project. So there is... There, the, yeah, yeah. Chief Minister is told in the media yesterday also, and in Kerala, in Delhi also, the Railway Ministry has given a principle a, a agree, and Finance Ministry has a given permission, and yes, also Nidhi has also given permission for the Silver Line. Please. We don't know. The, we, are the, we are the members of Parliament. We don't know whether the Government of India has given uh, final sanction for Silver Line. The Finance Ministry has given sanction for uh, Silver Line. We don't know, but the uh, chief minister has uh, already declared that, and also ministers have also declared that. Survey is going on, the eviction uh, 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 action is going on. You will, you will clear it in your reply speech. Kindly clear it. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am.